mirrors. You see how, guys? So, pizzeria wine bar. What is this? What is this? Quejeto, caballero. This is not a tit show. I'm doing a walking tour. This is my other persona. You tell them, that's right, you can tell them. 6'5", 225 and ripped. Oh my goodness, damn it. That was so funny. Wait for it, my friends. My name is Alfred Montaner and uh, we're on Fifth Street in South Beach, guys. And um, I'm walking weekend of memorial weekend 2022 and uh it's about six six oh five maybe six ten and uh we're gonna go ahead and walk we're gonna go ahead and people watch and uh we're gonna catch the vibe guys if i hear some music i'm gonna have to run from it because it'll actually mess up my channel i've done walking tours like this during different times of the year so check this out if you guys want to check uh, check out these videos during the pandemic what we had is um, This area was closed, but now it's open to to the cars. So on these week uh, on these uh, long weekends for Memorial weekend, they normally close um, Some of the streets and they divert traffic a certain way. So we're gonna see a little bit of that today. So If you guys want to follow me on Google Maps, I'm gonna be on I'm right now on 6th Street and Ocean Drive. Welcome to Miami. So that's kind of like what we remember as locals over here passing and seeing all the cool cars that pass and people watch while they're in the cars, right? Now over here we got uh, some parking, we got a pizza place and we also have a liquor store down this section here. We've walked those in the past, guys, but you are gonna see people coming from from other areas. Where are you ladies coming from? Uh, Chicago. Chicago in the house. Welcome to Miami. Thank Anything you're gonna do in particular here? Well, obviously that, right? <laughs> all right. Um, so, so we're gonna see a little a little bit of uh, craziness, guys, when you see all these young people here. So, you got Collins, one street over and you have Washington, another street over. So just so you guys get a reference point of what's going on. Here's the chitter, right? If you need to go to the restroom, uh, you got a male and females bathroom right there. And uh, this is CJ's Crab Shack. We've talked about this place, um, always full. So if you guys want some crabs, you won't just find them on Washington, right? You can get crabs you can eat. The other kind, you might have to go to Walgreens for, guys. But, nevertheless, you know, the more you, the more you take with you back to wherever you are, it's better for us, right over here in Miami. Uh, it's, it's a long story, guys. All right, I'm just joking around with you guys. All right, so listen up. So they've also created a, a bike path, which was not here before, which is kind of cool, right? So bikes, oh look, the, the muscle, the muscle section over there on the beach has been expanded as well. So you can work out on the beach. All right, we're walking right now north. And remember, South Beach ends on First Street, which will be South Point Park. And uh, recently we were just there filming a cruise ship uh, exiting on my channel. And my channel is mostly about boats, but I do want to give you guys the Memorial Weekend, the Memorial Weekend vibe, guys. And um, as as the night gets a little later, um, things get a little amplified, and we'll see what happens, right? Typically, you guys only see like short snippets of a couple of bad things that usually happen at this time of the year when there's a lot of visitors here in Miami. So it's unfortunate, but it is a reality. Sometimes there's some people that. Don't know how to act, you know? And I will tell you, you're gonna catch a charge, you're gonna have a, a felony and your life is gonna be effed up. So consider that a warning, my friends.
here's some more restaurants over here. Hello. So if you want to have some food over here, right now we're at the Majestic. If you look at the Majestic here, it's on 7th and uh, Ocean Drive. And uh, yeah, it's really nice to see everybody out and about, guys. Um, when we were doing these walking tours during the, the Rona, it was, uh, it was crazy. Uh, where where are you where are you from? Alabama. 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 Yeah, Alabama. So so yeah. you're repping Alabama. Yeah, what, rep first time. We rep Alabama, baby. First time in Miami. First time in Miami. Time. Well, time. Welcome, welcome to Miami. Yeah. So is it everything you thought it was? Miami, baby. It's better. I like this shit. All right. I like this shit. It's better. It's better. It's better. For real. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Listen, you guys have a good time. Make sure. Hey, make it to your hotel safe and then get lit and have fun, man. What a dork. <laughs> he said in Spanish, yeah, yeah, you know, just, I'm here just flodging for the, for, for the pick. So Alabama in the house, guys. So we'll see. Like I said, uh, once we get a little, as it gets a little later, it's, uh, okay. So this is one of those things that I was, I was telling you about. So there's barricades here. And this is basically to let the cars go through. And then you'll have crowds of people walking along here. During the Rona, you had, you had actually, you see this, these, these uh, outdoor tables? These, this is how it always was, right? But during the pandemic, since a lot of people wanted to uh, be outdoors, they had them on the actual street. So um, curious to, to get the opinion of the uh, restaurant owners and stuff like that. Who, uh, who had dealt with that. We're here in front of the Beacon, guys. Beacon's got some food. We're heading towards Wet Willys and uh, the CVS, guys. Welcome to Miami. <laughs> All right, so CVS, guys, just in case you get a rash. It's probably not gonna go away, but it'll be a little reminder of why you came to Miami. I'm just tripping, man, I'm just tripping, guys. I'm just tripping, guys. I'm just joking. Um, I got to cross over to this side. I want you guys to see the volleyball nets and uh, some of the things that are over there because, you know, that's what Miami is about. Now, I can film this, this same walk a week later, and the vibe and the crowd is 100% different in just one week, guys. So keep that in mind right um as a content creator i want to go ahead and show you unique different times so i'll come to like these rowdy moments so you guys can see a lot of people a lot of scenarios situations so it's kind of cool you know um we got the world famous wet willies up here so welcome to wet willies so now wet willies is known for their frozen drinks if you guys uh See, they got a second terrace up there as well. There's so many people here, guys, and this is this is not even this is not even what it's gonna be, guys. It's gonna it's gonna get so wild. It's gonna be wild, literally. All right, so all right, so we got some music back there, but I am gonna cross over real quick so I can show you guys. A little bit of here and then we'll go back over here guys don't worry we're gonna walk we're gonna talk I just want to show you guys more or less what's going on oh boy that's a <laughs> there's some wild stuff going on over there oh my goodness this is gonna be wild all right so here is basically people that are gonna go and play volleyball, different crowd. So you got, oh, they're kicking it. What the, what was that? Dude, they're playing volleyball? They're, they're... What? Is that a thing? Really? Dude, I've never seen that. What, 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 what is it called? 
Yeah. Well, I gotta show that, dude. That is so crazy. So same rules as volleyball. Same rules, but but no arms. No. That is so wild. Hey, where did this this originate? Brazil. Guys, Brazil, repping over here. Let's go ahead and see how they play over here. Oh no, no, we got some music. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta go. Oh, dude, that is so wild. Wow. All right. Here's another one. So what's this one called? Tech ball. Tech ball, yeah. Tech? Tech ball. Tech ball. Oh, tech ball with a Q. Wow. Guys, just when you thought you've seen it all, boom, people surprise you. Um, all right, let's, uh, look, let's go, let's go over here because this is kind of like where the, the gym is. And I'll give you guys a vibe. Remember guys, if you've never been to South Beach, the beach is obviously to the direction I'm facing over those trees, a little walkway, and then you got our beautiful beach, which I'm sure people are starting to wind down. It's pretty hot. It's about maybe 85, 86 yeah. degrees. And uh, we're walking, guys. We're walking, and uh, this is, uh, I, lo I, love seeing, I love seeing so many people out and about. You know, it helps our tourism. Yeah. And uh, it's nice to see that. Man, they've really been expanding on all these outdoor workout sections here on the beach. It's kind of like uh, old school Venice Beach, right? All right, so and we're getting close to the world famous mangoes and we're gonna cross now so if you do want to come to the beach, just remember that you can come over here and work out. Maybe you're an early bird and... Look at this, dude. They have so many cool things. Got some pull-up bars over here. Oh my God, what the? These people are wild, dude. Look, look at the benches. They got outdoor benches everywhere. All right, let's continue walking back over here, guys. One of the things I wanted to definitely let you guys know whenever you come to South Beach, listen, um, sometimes it does get wild because there's a lot of people, but as you see, there's there's police presence everywhere. There's cameras everywhere. So if you do something stupid, you're gonna get in trouble, right? So you don't wanna do nothing stupid. All right, so we're about to cross from the beach side right now, and we're about to get to the world famous mangoes. So now technically now going forward, you're not supposed to walk on this green path is meant for I guess bikes and scooters and you know all that stuff that you guys see all right so let's go ahead and check out um, mangoes and pass through in here guys keep in mind right now if you're following me on Google Maps we're on 9th Street and Ocean Drive and um, there's a side entrance over there so is it is it what you expect What's hey, going on, man? Hit me on Instagram, King C's, man, with a one. K1. King, King C's? Yeah, K1. All right, man, we're going to go ahead and we're going to represent you, bro. All right, the most famous Latin dance, everything. Well, you know, look, the world famous Mangoes Tropical Cafe guys over here. Are you guys sisters? No? 
I was like, man, they're just wearing different colors. Gang, gang, gang. Uh oh, what? Where are you from, girl? What are you representing? The world famous Latin Mangoes Tropical Cafe, guys. Uh oh, we gotta get, we gotta get out of here. We got some music over here at the place, and we can't have none of that on the video, guys. So we're out and about like the trash on a Monday. Boom, and just like that, we go into the locust. And the vibe changes. How much for one of these? 25. 25? And where do you normally stay? Right here in front of the locust? Yes. All right, guys. What's your name? Ellie. Eh? Ellie. Guys, if you see Ellie, you buy one. You tell her you saw her on the chit show. Over here. Right past mangoes. All right, here's the Voodoo Lounge. Uh-oh, we got some more music, but we're running and gunning, guys. So you got, like I said, just police presence everywhere. We're right now in front of the breakwater. Um, keep, in, keep in mind, guys, if you guys want food, there's so many options here on South Beach, and the food is, is absolutely awesome in most of the places you go over here. Uh-oh, we got some Drake in the background. Hanging out, we got the break breakwater. Now, guys, today is so hot that the actual sign broke. The sign broke. Look at this, oh man. Isn't that South Beach or what, bro? So it says it's 105 degrees, that's a lie. It feels like 105, but that's, it's, not, it's not 105, guys. So, let's go ahead and continue walking. All right, if, uh, if you're following me on Google Maps right now, we're on 10th and Ocean Drive or about to get to the world famous Clevelander. So here's what you gotta do, guys. If you come over here, you stand over here, you take a picture right here with the time and the date and the temperature. And this right now, we, our clock broke, guys. It is, it is scorching though, it's, it's pretty hot. So, we got uh, Clevelander back here, and I think, uh, I think the Clevelander is starting off with their parties already kind of early, because they're jamming that music. I do expect the beach to be um, essentially almost closed off at some point, right? When, you know, there's been times that they've actually done emergency orders over here on the beach, and they've closed them off because of certain things that happen, right? And regrettably, sometimes even business owners will shut down on very busy weekends like this because it just gets, it gets a little wild sometimes, you know? That's a decision uh, that the uh, business owners make, right? And that is the world famous Clevelander, guys. I'm not getting a little close because of the music. But here, look, we have some stages over there. So I guess they got some stages set up on the beach. So I wonder what's going on with that. Nice little Ferrari over here. What do you guys think? Huh? Smash it like if you like Ferrari. Uh-oh, we got some more, some more craziness, guys, coming up. We're getting close to 11th. Wow. So here's, now's the, the time. Uh-oh, this is where the, the palace is. So now's the time where people start getting dressed and they start getting ready to come out for dinner, right? And based on how they um, basically set up their day, they'll either stay here on the beach or they'll go to Miami. So... My advice is always to make sure you have your room key. What's up, fellas? You have your room key, so if you have to get back into the, into the beach for whatever reason, if it's, you know, they, they can't completely close it off, right? But you have to kind of show that, hey, listen, I'm here, right? Because what, what happens is they're trying to stop, I, I guess they're trying to stop locals from coming over here, right? The locals can't get over here, and the visitors can't over here, and the locals think, <laughs> 
You're not just gonna come over here and think you're gonna just do whatever you want, right? And it gets kind of wild. And that's what kind of really happens. So if you don't have a reason to be here, they kind of don't want you here, right? Or like on these crazy nights and days. And... But look, if you want some, uh, some good things and good news, maybe you want to go ahead and uh, join our armed forces. And uh, we got some, uh, some stuff over here going on. I wonder what event they had going on over here. But it's the Army, the Marines. So I guess uh, if you wanted to, you know, maybe change your life and say, ah, I said I'm done. Oh, dude, we got some tanks on the beach. No. How raw is that? They brought tanks over here, bro. Welcome. Yes, yes. Damn, talk about getting people really excited about, you know? We've had um, air shows and stuff like that in my entire life. I've never seen a tank on the beach, guys. Wow. Wow. So comment below, guys, if you've been in the armed forces and, uh, and uh, know what tanks right now we're walking around. Because, like I said, this is, this is absolutely different and new to me. Wow. That is so wild, dude. Look at the tracks on this, dude. And to think, like, right now we got some major crazy things going on in the world. And they got technology now that will just get this in basically make it disappear in a heartbeat which is which is pretty crazy when you think about it dude how about doing a ride on one of these man this thing looks crazy bro wow guys i've never seen this so it's it's so wild that's cool to see and i guess that's the reason right that's the reason that you know you see something like this, you're like, yeah, you know what? I want to be a part of the team. I want to be a part of the best team. And boom, you sign up for our armed services and make a difference in the world, right? Fighting for freedom. That is cool, dude. So wild. So that was, that was pretty epic if you ask me. I don't know, guys. So I guess, I don't know. Maybe go to army.com. Go army.com if, uh, if maybe it's something that uh, interests you, right? And it's, it's just the army. I, I don't see the Marines here. Is the uh, Marines a little bit far? Who knows? Top Gun. That's an actual um, movie that's out right now. Look at the look at the artwork. Look look at this stuff. Wow. Is this all handmade? Yes. It is. Wow. Dude, that's wild. That is so cool. Hey, is there a website that uh, somebody could see this at? Right here, I think you might have already got it in your camera. What is it? Let me see. Let's see, guys. Maybe somebody sees something really, really interested. There you go, guys. That's, uh, that's the, uh, the website. I love this. Wow, cool stuff. All right. Like I said, there's more tents back there. And uh, I don't know, man. Anytime I see uh, American flags surrounding something, I'm, I'm always going to be there, guys. So Memorial Weekend, boom, just like that. Um,
and just like that guys we cross the street and everything changes again so we're gonna take in, in our little journey today we're gonna walk a little bit more I don't know I mean we'll see where it takes us you got these city bikes if you come over here remember you always can can rent these out there's different locations where you can get them you basically pay with a credit card see here look scan yeah maybe you can get some information there right Honda is over here look they got a steak shack and everything all right so this is used to be the tides are they yeah the tides is it are they almost done with this thing they they've been sitting on the tide for a minute dude this place has been closed for a while we got the pink taco also right here to my left there's the tides let's go ahead and cross the street guys uh oh but damn we got Bon Jovi on the other side. I think we can cross. What do you think? Do you think we cross? Yeah, I mean, we can We can cross. And, and here's where the uh, cars will go, right? So, Pink Taco continues. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna cross and we're gonna walk one street over to Collins and uh, see if there's any different uh, movement on on uh, Collins and then eventually you go to Washington and check out the whole if you guys have seen a lot of my walking tours I always tell you guys stay out of the alleys guys nothing good happens in the alleys other than you know you wake up maybe next to some garbage and vomit and so stay up out of the alleys bro you don't need to be in here you look you want to see the alleys look this is it nothing good that happens in an alley guys Look, if you're lucky, you won't end up here, right? right here. Maybe we'll find somebody in here now. Hey, where are you at? All right, he's not in there right now. It's symbolism, guys. It's really not that bad, but I just don't want you guys in the alley, and that's it. Um, now, for those of you coming to South Beach, a lot of people ask me, is it safe? Yes, guys it's very safe and there's tons of police everywhere now some some weekends are worse than others right like look right here we're coming up there's an officer here to your right an officer here you know there's there's police presence everywhere but what happens in some busy weekends like this you get a lot a lot of people you get alcohol and people just start acting wild and that's that's what kind of like what happens Look at this. Hey, if you if you if if you vlog me, I'll vlog you. Yeah, I'll vlog you. Chicho, look at him. <laughs> That's wild. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? How you doing, bro? Denver, Colorado. Yeah. First time out here, man. Welcome to Miami, bro. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you, man. Take care. All right, guys, so listen up. That's kind of a cool, wild how he just recognized the Chicho. Um, so the barricades continue, right? You see, you kind of like see how, because all these areas, guys, get super, super packed. We're going to go down 11th real quick, and uh, I'll show you guys a little bit of, of here what's going on on, on Collins, right? So we're between 11th and 12th on Collins Avenue. And you got a hookah lounge over here called Rakija Lounge. Hello. Rakija Lounge. <laughs> All right. So some of these places, we haven't even really seen them, to be honest with you, because 
they've either been getting construction and uh, every time I see a car in kind of cool place guys it's maybe even new to me I try to show you guys too right because I want you guys to know what's what's new what's happening and Yeah, more um so so here's what happens right so now when you see kind of like the police officers dressed in brown those are police officers in miami from miami day that are, that i that come to the beach okay you see that officer over in the corner she is in blue those are south beach and miami beach um police officers when you have when you have uh, police officers wearing brown, those, those are typically the police officers that are in Miami-Dade County. So, and then you have Miami police, you got Metro-Dade, which is kind of like what those uh, people wearing the browns are. Look, these are tours. I don't know what that meant or what she said, but we're gonna pretend we know. We got, we got a liquor store here. Is this a liquor store? I know it's, it's a market. You guys want to see what a market looks like over here? There you go, guys. Over here. Now, one of the things you're going to see here on South Beach a lot is this terrazzo floor. And some of the places even have it nicely polished in some of these old school hotels and you'll definitely appreciate that this is Sunny's uh, fresh market over here they got an outdoor window so if you want to order something what's going on we got some vape shops now what's up guys how you guys doing good good man all right, so Mediterranean cuisine over here, walking towards Washington, guys. So look, if you just browse and walk, you'll see a lot of cool things between like 5th and 15th, right? Look, see what I told you about the alleys? Look at that, look at that. Look at that! Doesn't that look dangerous? What's going on, man? Enjoy Miami. Yes, All right. So they're cutting traffic through the alley at this point. But uh, later in the evening, the police will kind of shut that down. Here's the 11th Street Diner. Guys, this place, this place has been here since I was a kid. And I'll be honest with you. I've probably been in there, but I've probably been so ripped when I was younger that I don't even remember. So if you go in there, just have a milkshake on me, for me. All right, so we just, we just came across to Washington and uh, 11th Street. And uh, primarily a lot of the traffic is gonna be moving from Washington in and out of the beach now there's another way out and in the beach which a lot of non-locals don't know but your uber driver will know and that would be through the Venetian Causeway the Venetian Causeway basically is from like 16th Street heading that way right this way and um, it'll get you to Wynwood pretty fast and if you guys haven't seen the walking tours I've done uh, at Wynwood, I would encourage you to check out my, my Visit Miami playlist. Because I have a whole playlist, guys, showing you guys what to do and where and what and how. Got a Thai house here, restaurant. Poseidon's Greek. And this is in between 11th and 12th. Guys, it is hot. So keep that in mind, right? And then it gets, we get that summer heat over here, but we got that humidity that you guys ain't used to. See, for a local, 
that dry heat over here oh like in texas and all those other places that have dry heat it's terrible for us because we're used to the actual moisture so we'll sweat it out maybe you're feeling the the grind you got some more markets little small markets if you get a little hungry more okay you see how Miami Dade Police is here. So definitely big, big presence. And I think, I think obviously that's because we expect such a busy weekend over here. And instead of closing stuff down, they just want to go ahead and make sure that they have enough people to control the small crowds that decide to get disorderly, right? All right, we're walking off streets right now. Got some, I look a smoothie on 1229. You got a cookies. What is this? Insomnia cookies. We're gonna walk all the way to Lincoln Road. All right, so this, what's up guys? So this is one of the nightclubs that's that has the biggest space in all these nightclubs on South Beach. I don't know why somebody hasn't taken it. Well, I do know why, right? Because the Rona and all the regulations that came with it, it just doesn't make sense for somebody to go ahead and make an investment, right? Um, so, but that is, guys, that was back in the days of, if, for those of you guys that know, remember Level? Level was, wow, that was like a, a crazy crazy nightclub i mean that was incredible you got some pizza here look you got some mexican next to pizza so you got some food options if if you're a crunch uh fitness nut you go up there and you work out you know you would go in through here so you know it's crazy there were some points that some, sometime uh, many years ago, they started changing some of these sidewalks and they started uh, refurbishing them and making them new, similar but new. And I remember there was a piece of the sidewalk on the side of the road and I used it as a landscape piece and it was so cool. It made me remember all the good times that I had in my home um, when I would be hanging out in my backyard smoking a Rocky Tail p cigar just saying look I probably walked on this when I was 14 15 years old sneaking out of the house when I was a kid all right so we're on 13th guys in Washington and we're walking towards Española way we're almost here at Española and here's the thing this is gonna be a nice this is gonna be a nice video because it's gonna be a long video gonna be informative but it's also gonna show you how things change as time passes right sensation video Miami I think I've actually filmed some of the stuff that they've had here right can you imagine I get demonetized because one of these damn mannequins that'll be insane you want to buy some corona take it back to your hotel now there's currently there's no restrictions on timing of when you when you can buy that stuff right some places i know are some places in the country is like it's 12 o'clock sorry so you we can't serve you there's another market here over here this is kind of bigger this is meant, meant, meant for more locals They used to have uh, an ATM right here on the wall. But I don't know where that went. Oh, look, there's another one there. I guess what happens? He got competition. He got, he got run out the building. Just in case you need to buy some new kicks because you messed up yours. Here it is. You can buy some kicks over here, guys. Right on Washington. Washington and 14th Street. 
We got some more pizza coming up. Oh look, ladies, you need some, just some throwovers or something like that. Tons of little stores like this. Souvenirs for the kids. Take a pencil, a shot glass, something like that back home. And here is more pizza. But we got some music in the background, so I can't go ahead and hook them up. But I guess you can get that vibe if you wanted it. If you wanted to go ahead and rent some uh, trikes, look, maybe you want to come and come with your toddler and go around South Beach because you want to, you have that option. That's kind of cool. Oh, we got an alligator head. That's an alligator, guys. Remember, alligators have round snouts. Crocodiles got pointy snouts. The crocodiles, look at this, man. That's, that's cool. Uh oh, but we got more music acting crazy. Let's see, uh, let's see if people are out and about in uh, Española Way. Damn, I wonder. I want to start going into some hotels for you guys, dude. I want you guys to start seeing some of these hotels. Um, that's that kind of stuff. You're gonna have to ask them and talk to management, and you know. So, but stay tuned. Uh, comment below if you guys want to see that, right? I can, I can pull some strings and make a few phone calls and maybe have that happen, right? Damn, I like that cigar sign. What do you guys think, huh? Cool. If you maybe are uh, a little sluggish and need a shot, of uh, Cuban coffee you got a uh, couple of options coming up over here on uh, Española Way next to the Cameo we got a Cuban restaurant we also have Havana 1957 across the street or Cortadito coffee house I haven't seen this guy this is new So now, typically, so you guys know what goes on over here with the locals. The locals will stay away from South Beach and they'll go to Mary Brickle Village, Coconut Grove, um, Coral Gables, Fort Lauderdale on weekends that are busy like this. And, and you'll see a ton of people also going towards the Keys, right? Because the Keys is where it's at on weekends like this because you get even further away from all the nonsense. Here's your... Sexy Uber. Oh, he's got pink hair, dude. How wild is that? You gotta be kidding me, dude. Is that is that a real, is that really a sexy... Oh my goodness, oh look at him. Bro, you gotta be kidding me. The sexy Uber. I wonder, I wonder if that's... <laughs> the police officer is talk, talking uh, <laughs> to that guy that we saw over there with his girl in the alley. That was kind of funny. Hey, but listen. Whatever, uh, whatever you can do to make a dollar, right? I, I ain't gonna hate on them. Look at this, look at this, look at this. Wow. All right, so that's our cue. Look, flyer fare 225, bus operator wanted. $5,000 bonus, guys. Come to Miami, we need bus drivers over here. Pretty good, huh? What do you guys think? Whoa. Little scooter, how's that? All right, so welcome to the world famous Española Way, guys. Um, 
So the Hyundai Air and Sea Show, that's what it was that we were seeing earlier, guys. Um, USASalute.com, if you wanted to get a little bit more information. All right, so maybe you haven't come towards... We got that on camera. We got that kiss on camera. Was that kiss okay by you? You're going to jail. No, no, I'm no, just kidding. No, no. Where are you guys from? France. 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 You like Miami? Yeah. Okay, that's all we need. Is... Okay. All right, guys, have a good time. Yes, thank you. All right, guys. So, kind of, I got weird there real quick, guys. I don't know. I didn't know what happened. I, I was like, oh man. All right, so, welcome to the world famous Española Way, and uh, we walked here. Guys, but today we're gonna walk through Española Way and we're also gonna go towards Lincoln Road. Oh man, I want you guys to see what, what are some of the options that you can have while you're here. Yes, 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 I am feeling all this food. What are you guys? Now, you got some hotels up here as well. Some people right there in the little balcony of their hotel and uh, it looks like uh, for this event they have some outdoor food here that looks exquisite comment below guys smash a like let me know what you think isn't this awesome just gives you guys the perspective of what's going on so this would be a happy hour because of the time so we got some, some drinks here as well, being made, some mojitos. And right now, this is uh, in front of Española Cigars. That way, So. The next, the next guy down there. Let's continue walking so you guys can see some more options. You know, ironically, I got a cigar in my backpack that uh, after I finish my walking tour here of South Beach, I'm gonna go ahead Welcome! What? Como se llama este lugar? What's this place called? Pescado, Mercado. What do you guys, what's your favorite dish here? The pasta? Which one? Point it, point at it, point at it, point at it. Which pasta? This one? Alright. I'm gonna send people from my channel to come over here and say hello. Alright guys. So, we continue over here and it's nice to see all the people out and about guys so a little bit for everybody right so based on what you want to do where you want to go you can enjoy the world famous south beach guys there there's a reason why we have the most people visiting florida and south florida than we've ever had Hanging out over here. All right. We got more dishes, more dishes, guys. Let's see some amazingness. Oh, wow. What do you guys think, huh? I think you guys want to catch a flight and come to Miami. Uh oh. You need to take a picture and come over here, guys. Get on the other side right here and take a picture. All right, guys. So, Española Way. Um, now, couple of, couple of little areas. We're gonna do something a little different, guys. Cause you know what? You guys have already kind of grown to hang out with me we're gonna walk through the residential areas towards Lincoln Road so you guys can see maybe some of you guys actually considering coming to South Florida and to live right all right so this bar is awesome right here 512 all right good bar um, I've shown it a couple times this is also 
a place in the morning. I think it's France. Yeah, it's French. All right, so let's walk. And um, I don't know. Listen up. So here's the thing, right? So now walking towards... We're right now walking towards the residential neighborhoods, right? See? You guys got an idea of what it really is over here in uh, South Beach. You know, as a kid, I actually temporarily went to that school. And, uh, Now you'll see, you'll see some of the locals walking. Wow, $45 parking? Wow. So here's the thing. Parking was $30 next to 5th Street and Ocean. All right, so let me give you a reference point so you guys see where we're walking, guys. And like I said, these, this is the residential areas. And us locals, right, to avoid traffic, we'll do what that police officer is doing right now. We'll go through the back roads and get in and out of the beach so it's not a chicho, right? Because, you know, who wants to be in traffic when you don't have to be? And as you see, the Art Deco theme is pretty much prevalent throughout the whole city in this area, right? Miami Beach is really well known for that. All right, so we're on Pennsylvania and 15th Street. We're walking up avenues. Over there, the second light in the, dip, in the deep distance is Washington. And we're walking towards Lincoln Road. And Lincoln Road, a lot of food, a lot of uh, clothing, a lot of things that you can go and, uh, and buy when you're here visiting. We got a boat trailer here. So, under construction, right? So they don't let you completely change the architecture completely over here because they, they try to make sure that they keep it within the same style of look that they want. But this kind of, these kind of buildings have looked like this forever, right? They just slap on a little bit of paint. You were probably living here when it was purple and depend on what drug they were at the time, whoever owned it. <laughs> it's a joke, guys. Delano 1540 over here. That's not the Delano you think that's uh, on Collins, guys. That is not the one. So you have the SLS and all that a little bit further up, which we've done walking tours of those areas as well. So. Oh, that's kind of cool. See that? There it is, guys. All right? That'll be kind of like a, an apartment complex over here. I wonder how much... You're taking all my money, bro! You're taking all my money! Amazon is taking all my money! Stop it! Everybody money! No, man! Stop it! My, my wife is a pro Amazon shopper, guys. Oh, my goodness. Just when I think, boom, there's a package on the door that says Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime. What's going on here? Some form of delivery? Yeah, looks like, looks like it is. All right, guys, so we're getting close over here. 
back to Lincoln Road. So, trying to see if we can find some. Thank you. He just wanted to be on camera. I know you did. I know you did. <laughs> He's not really nice, guys. He was like, just, are you gonna put me on camera? Yeah. Smash that like, guys, if you guys are enjoying this walking tour because uh, my knees are about to fall off and the ash rash that I have right now is amazing. I got a grandson, so I might have to hit up his butt cream. <laughs> no, just kidding, guys. Whenever I say I'm kidding, that means I'm not kidding. So, all right, so Friday, what time do we got right now? Let's see what time we got. 7, 12 p.m. And uh, we're about to get here to Lincoln Road. So now, here's a little pro tip, right? Once you get to Lincoln Road, sometimes if you are going to come visit over here, maybe you're driving, right just off of Lincoln Road, you have these small little parking lots which you can park in and they're here right so this one this one is actually private but it is accessible right so keep that in mind all right so we're about to get to Lincoln Road we can go right or left and uh, I don't know. We'll see right now when we get over there which way we go. I'm thinking left. It's a nice uh, long walking tour. I like doing these tours for you guys. It gives it gives a real perspective of of real the reality of what's going on, right? All right, if I walk all the way down this way, I'm going to jump and bump into Washington and then Collins, and then I can walk a couple streets down and get to um, Ocean Drive. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to come over here a little bit and we're going to loop around and walk on the way back, hit both sides up so you guys can see what's going on over here. And then, I might have some legs. I don't know, we, we'll see, we'll see, guys. It's kind of still early and it's, the sun is dropping, so I want you guys to feel the ambiance of how the night changes in one entire video, right? So. Man, let me tell you, so whenever, whenever that happens, right, as a, as a parent, you know, you can't really, you know, put some duct tape on your kid, you know? Ah, oh, it just drives me nuts, though. There's always that one parent that's got to walk outside with the baby and kind of has to not hang out because that moment gets crazy. And I, over here, it's outdoors, so it's not a big, big thing, right? Now, here's a comment for you guys. This has been here forever. Should they remodel and refurbish all this Old school Lincoln Road, Miami Beach awesomeness, or or should they leave it like the way it is, so that you guys can uh, experience it the way that we're seeing it? Hey, what's that? Your book? Let me show. Let me show the, the cover. Right there. I'm training for the next Olympics. In inspiration. Where you? What? What country are you representing? I'm a U.S. runner. So you're from from where? Though I know. Born in Germany, lived in Africa, and then came to the U.S. And you're a runner. Yes. Like long distance, short distance? What kind of distance? I'm a sprinter. You're a sprinter. Yeah. How fast can you run the 40? We don't run 40. So what do you run? I'm a 100 meter sprinter. So how fast can you run it? 
run a 40? No, 100. Oh, 10.7. 10, 7. 10, 10, 7. Yeah. Wow, do you have any footage that I can put on my video? Um, like on YouTube? Uh, on yeah, Instagram. What's your name? Mob, Mobry? Yeah, Prince Mobry. Man, I, I'm glad that you're on my channel. So you're on the Chit Show. I film in Miami all these walk, walking tours and stuff like that. So if they wanna, if they wanna see your journey within your writings, I'm gonna tell them to go. Is there a website that they could go to or something, or they could find it on Amazon? What Mobrydestin.com? Hey, I'm gonna look you up, man. You wanna race? Uh, no, I don't race? Let me know, man. <laughs> I'm working, but I, I can, I can read one. Mobry, I wanna see you in the Olympics. Make it happen. I like Mabry, I like his story, but I'm holding a 20 pound gimbal. And to hold a book right now, it ain't gonna happen. But I already know where we can get it, guys, if you guys wanna get it. So, um, you gotta respect the hustle. You gotta respect the hustle, guys. You gotta respect the hustle. Guys like that, you gotta go ahead and respect the hustle. See, that's the difference between somebody that's good and somebody that's great, right? Somebody that is great, you don't see the hard work. Nobody sees the effort, what is being done behind the scenes to get to that point of, of excellence. And uh, look what he's doing, right? He's putting himself in a position where he can sell his book probably to go ahead and better his situation to, to achieve his goal, right? To be in the Olympics. So how cool would it be if we see the next Olympics and he takes the gold. Ah, you see, those, those are moments that I would just freaking go crazy for. You want some Swartbosky crystals? You got an Apple store coming up, I think. Oh, did we pass the Apple store? Oh shoot, I see some, I see some water dropping. Is this guy taking a leak? You just took a dump, dude. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, he's drinking water off of the leaf. Oh no, he's eating the leaf. Wow, this guy doesn't care. Wow, cool. We just had a little bit of Discovery Channel moment. What do you guys think? Smash that like for Discovery Channel over here. Um, we're back to South Beach uh, grind, guys. If you're following me on Lincoln Road, I'm on Meridian and Lincoln. And uh, we can cross the street. Oh, you know what I'm going to do? Bro, come here. Yes, yes, yes. Guys, we've already, we've done this walk. We've done this walk. Come here, come here. Come here, guys. Come, 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 come. I know, it's like you're right here with me, but seriously. Wait for it. <laughs> all right, so, all right. So, this will continue all the way to Alton Road. But recently, for those people that watch my channel, you might have just stumbled across my channel for the first time. I'm in your whole video. Are you following me? <laughs> Let me know. Can you follow I'm me? I'm serious. <laughs> you gotta get coffee right there. All right, guys. That is kind of weird. She, she, she is following me. Guys, 6'5", 225 of pure sexiness. I'd follow me too. All right, so recently, Recently on my channel, we had done, um, here's where she said to go, guys. And we just recently passed one on Washington as well, called it Cortadito. But there's a couple things going on over here. There's, there's a hidden, there's a hidden, uh, I think it's a one, one street over. Wow, wait a second, I'm so confused. Dude, they've really changed this up a lot. Like, like they've made the whole situation for bikers and scooter people, like, friendly. Look at this. I'm liking this. 
that's, that's cool that's all new all right so what i was gonna say before i was rudely interrupted by some adhd that's living in my brain we had done a video on one of my dinghies a dinghy is a small inflatable boat that i have and i came through back here in my dinghy wow I'm kind of far from my car dude i am gonna for sure 100 percent i'm gonna get an uber on the way back all right so if you're visiting over here see how we're just walking and talking shit so far we're doing pretty good on battery all right we're on 17th street and meridian and uh we're gonna cross the street here because we're gonna go to see that place where yours truly went i went guys in an inflatable boat and i toured the back waters of miami beach and i showed you areas that you guys have not seen in the back back far drop over there guys i don't know if that's the delano it might be this is macy's right here on 17th meridian used to be a birdines back in the days you guys remember those that company and uh here is um the convention center so the convention center well this is a part of the convention center right and uh, we recently uh went to the boat show and filmed that as well but but here's where i want to take you guys more residential places here see the vibe changes little by little little by little but You see, now what would be real cool is if we can get into an Uber, not turn off the camera, if he's cool about it, or she's cool about it, and then go right back to um, South Beach. All right, so in the backdrop over there, boom, is the convention center. What is this building? Is this, is this a part of the convention center? It might be, guys. It might be. It's definitely a uh, Miami Beach property. I don't know. Maybe it's City Hall. City Center, it says. Miami Beach City Center. All right. So when we were on the dinghy that I was driving, it's basically an inflatable boat with a... Uh, I think at the time I had a... 2.5 mercury engine outboard i'm kind of digging this right like i can see the appeal of a young person looking to explore adventure not knowing what tomorrow brings will come to south florida and wing it right get a little older you get kids in the picture drink a couple of beers you're sitting in a farm somewhere and you're, you're happy as hell. <laughs> I was going to say, I was going to say something. I was going to say, but I was like, nah, I'm not going to say that because a lot of women watch my channel and my wife watches it too. And she, she would have made me pay if I would have said that. But if she were here right now, I'll tell you what I'll say right now. I'd probably say it right at the, babe, 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 can you bring me a beer, please? Because I, Listen, I need a cold beer right now, guys. All right. Um, convention Center. See the nice green area? That's where they had a lot of the displays outdoors when the boat show happened. Um, the boat show in 2022 was in the Miami Beach Convention Center. So, and it actually uh, was a joint project with... I think Yachts Miami. I'll say, okay, so we're about to get to Dade Boulevard. But one of the things we noticed when we were on our dinghy, 
when we were on our dinghy, guys. That was a cool. That was a cool video. Let me tell you. And I'll try to link it, guys. I'll try to link it because now, once you see these videos, it all makes sense. It ties in together. And my goal when I do these videos is to make Miami smaller in the sense that you almost feel like you're here and you see it all uncut and you're like, wow. So in that video that I'm talking about when I was navigating these waters, I know you don't see no waters guys, but you will in a minute. And I commented on this here. And it's the Holocaust Memorial. That's right next to the convention center. You got some restrooms here if you decide to take a pit stop. And welcome to the Holocaust Memorial on Miami Beach. You see? Now, I, I wanted to get a view of it when, uh, when we were in the water, but regrettably we were not. Pretty different now huh? when uh, you kind of just walk and it's, it's actually I don't know I wouldn't say it's somber but you definitely do feel a different vibe when you're here right because you know there's so much that went went down in that time I think they did a great job uh, with this memorial And just to give you guys an idea of why I said what I just said, right? And that wall goes pretty far. Now, when we were on my dinghy, I essentially said, oh, wait, 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 right here, right here, let me see if I can get it. And I couldn't get the shot, right? But this is the shot that I wanted to give you guys. And I'll show you why we couldn't. And one of the things I want to show you is I think is a fantastic video. And those of you guys that did not see that video, a lot of people didn't see that video. For some reason, the YouTube algorithm didn't push it as much as it should have. But we drove down this channel. Let me show you here what it says here. And when we drove with that little boat that I was on, we drove all the way to this canal system. And then when we got to the end of this canal system, it goes to Collins to where all the houses that are on the water are. I think we got a little bit of battery. We're good. We're above water now, guys. So, now, walking through here, we also recognize some of the areas that we actually passed while we were on the boat, which is pretty wild, huh? 
and we went through under there it's a really cool video guys i would encourage you guys to see it i started in watson island and uh we have a golf course right here and obviously the traffic and the congestion that i was telling you about is there now one of the things that i didn't notice which i thought was interesting and we'll see it now again there were some boats up ahead and there was an opening for those boats almost as if you can launch your boat from there but uh, realistically there's no parking here so it's not something that I would tell you to do. That is so cool, dude. Just to think a couple weeks ago, we were down this little channel and it gets so interesting, right? As you see, um, they're still doing a lot of construction in the areas that are you know, Miami Beach has always been known for flooding, right? Really, really bad rains, king tides, and, uh, you know, the, the, the area is just low. Well, it's low, guys. I almost want to do this tour again. It was just a fun little ride. It's uh, so much different now huh, when you're, uh, you know, you give the other side of the story, right? So I think what's kind of cool, like these right now, since I'm doing a walking tour, I don't cover as much ground and the videos are typically longer this way. But when I'm on a scooter, I have a small scooter, I can cover a little bit more ground, well, a lot more ground and do it much faster, right? But you can't replicate the quality that this camera and this gimbal does, guys. This is what I want to see up here. I want to see what's up with these houses and the boats. So Ubers will typically sometimes use this street. Now, probably not as much because of the construction. Well, they used to take Dade to cut, to get you guys to South Beach. Um, Look at all these. This is all going in there, guys. I guess to stop that flooding and damn it. I'm not gonna be able to show what I wanted to show. And there it is. There it is. Yes, that's what it is. It is all right, so it's starting to look familiar now, doesn't it? Here's the Publix. Um, Publix is uh, essentially a food area over here for us. All right, so what I was, this is what I noticed, guys. See where it, their boats are right there? See? And we walked and there's some boats there. And it was kind of cool, right? Because um, when you really think about it, these guys who live on these small little canal system have access to the ocean which is kind of wild when you really think about it. And this water, this little entrance will go all the way towards um, the ocean. Here's the Publix.
and a lot of the locals will come from here now further in the direction i'm pointing the camera is where you start seeing more luxurious homes and and then uh it just starts going up avenues and then you start seeing some of the houses that we saw in that video which is the back side of those houses let's see if i can see the shot that we couldn't get because we didn't cross over that there's the boats that i was talking about over there see them in a the distance look like the tide is up So I thought that was, I thought that was interesting. Some of you guys, you know, some of you guys are just like real, real peepers. And we're like, Alfred, why don't you go in your dinghy? Wow. It's nighttime and see what happens in those backyards of those really, really ultra wealthy people. What's up, man? I want to ride, bro. Make it happen. You guys gonna go out? Huh? You going out? Yeah, what are you gonna go fish? We plan on doing something. I don't know if we're gonna catch anything. Bro, I'm loving it. I came over down this little area with my dinghy about a week ago. I've never been down that, but he has. This is my first time, my second time fishing. My boat is too big. Go no, you gotta go that way. Yeah. But but that way with a small little boat is cool because it goes to Collins. Take care, bro. So look. Okay, guys, so you see, they just, they're going to go fishing. How right? It, how wild is that, huh? Who, who would have thought that this is South Beach? You, not in a million years. And look, like I was just saying, right? That boat can literally go under here, go maybe about... I don't know, too. you see where that tall building is? The tallest building in the, in the backdrop? To right around there, that's where the ocean is. All right, so we're on Alton again. Um, well, we weren't on here, but I, I talked about it. I, when we were on Lincoln Road, I said, if you walk all the way over here, you're gonna go to Alton. I don't think uh, I don't think uh, a lot of people have done Miami and Miami Beach justice, and uh, that's why I film the way that I do, guys. Because I think it's only fair to show the reality of uh, what South Beach is, right? You see over there? Now, the Venetian Causeway, which goes to Miami, which is basically a bridge, will be in this direction over here, right? So a lot of the Ubers are gonna be coming in through here, and then they'll come all the way to the end, make a right, get you to South Beach, pick someone else up, and then usually they get bounced back and forth on South Beach until really really late in the night that somebody decides to go home but before they go home they barf in the car maybe shard in it ask him for some water and then give them a two-star rating when they're done guys smash a like for those damn uber drivers those guys see hell every friday and saturday night over here in south florida guys and lift drivers too right we're not going to forget about the lift drivers Look at this Palomar. I don't know if this is a, a hotel. It's right here, not too far from Lincoln Road. Now, Alton is one of the main avenues that'll get us to Fifth Street Bridge, right? We'll go over the bridge. You'll have Miami Beach Marina to our left. 
and then you got government's uh, government cut and then you'll see the port uh, of the cruise ships where we recently did a video as well let me tell you something I know these videos don't get a lot of views but the quality of the views that they get are incredible because it just it just gets a lot of people excited about coming to South Florida and for me that is important hotel what is it called all right so we're getting over here close to Lincoln guys now this is where Lincoln Road ends based on who you want to ask some people say it starts here and then ends on Washington or it starts on Washington and ends on Alton another wine shop oh you want to buy Bitcoin here over here um, just just for reference sake right Bitcoin price right now I think is 28,800 don't hold me to it to be exact guys because it fluctuates but I'm saying that because if you're looking at this video four years from now and you're like wow that thing still existed back then or could you believe how cheap it was you don't know we don't know guys time reveals everything right reveals and heals and father time is undefeated guys so don't try to fight the man wow a rare parking spot available here rare for all you single women that's like a rare man nowadays oh no it happened to you too no but I just knew I would capture your attention if I said that oh look you got some public parking over here for Lincoln Road oh man this guy almost ran me over I should have let him yo you never seen that show South Beach Towing yo can we park right here yeah if you want to be on South Beach Towing what is it? South Beach Towing. South you, Beach Towing? You want to be on it? <laughs> no. I'm serious. You come back at 3 in the morning, you knock on our window, and you give us 300 bucks, we'll give you back your car. I'm serious. Is this a TV show? No, dude. I work for them. Not South <laughs> Beach Towing, but the towing company. <laughs> hey, park right here. Do me a favor, oh, please. I'll go pick up my tow truck right now. I'm serious. You want You guys, uh, listen. Uh, I'll film while you guys are inside the car. I won't mess up your car. Are you sure? All right, man, you guys have a good one. Gotta always remind. You guys are from Hawaii? How'd you get that thing over here, bro? We swam. You swam? I don't know, man. That's suspect if you ask me. All right, so South Beach showing, guys, was a show down here and it's still there there is South Beach showing it is well, let me tell you something over here guys you don't play around when it comes to don't park here because uh, it's amazing how fast those guys and girls right both male and female work those tow trucks and they will light you up Lincoln Center all right we're back on Lincoln Road guys now the same walk that we had we just did a pit we did a walk around which we hadn't really done and uh i don't know what do you guys think did you guys uh enjoy that walking tour you know what let's go ahead and uh give some props to some of these hold on you gotta go like this you gotta stop there you go. All right, guys. It was all for show. I, I had to walk. Ah, damn it. 
It looks so soft now. All right, so locals, right? Locals are coming over here. Let me show you where the locals come and hang out because a lot of the locals will also live over here on West Ave. But they'll come and hang out over here. They'll probably work on the beach, live in this area, and then they also hang out in these areas as well, right? These are kind of like off the skirt restaurants and bars that, that you see. Taqueria, which is basically Mexican. So you got some beers. You see how, guys, so pizzeria wine bar. What is this? What is this? This is not a chicho. I'm doing a walking tour. This is my other persona. <laughs> you tell them, that's right. You can tell them. 6'5", 225 and ripped. <laughs> oh my goodness. Damn it. That was so funny. All right, guys. So, the walking tours continue. I love that. I love when you guys do that stuff. Oh, all right. So, this is just past Lincoln Road, right? So, <laughs> I'm going to start the video with those guys. Say hello to the people at Poyos by Juan Chipico. Man, this place is kind of cool. What do you guys think, huh? Yes, I like, I can. I want to show you. Yeah, let me show. Let's see what we got in here, guys. Wow, okay. So, look. So, another place you can hang out in. See this? So, like I said, a lot of the locals will come hang out in this area. Do you guys, uh, do you guys? That was uh, pretty cool. So, Ceviche 105, guys, over here. So, if you're following me right now on Google Maps, we're on Lincoln Road and West Avenue. And uh, we're, we're walking, guys. We're walking. We, we, still, we still have a little bit. We still have a little bit of battery to go. So, as long as we got some battery, I think we can... We can do something amazing. Maybe. Wow, this has been a great video. I'll tell you what, we've, we've seen it all. And, and the reason I do these videos as long as I do them is I want you to see how the city and the dynamic of the city changes based on where you are. Right now, I can get in a car, go to Mary Brickle Village, or areas in Coconut Grove or Coral Gables, and it's completely different, right? You can go to Wynwood, young people, artsy people, the vibe changes where you go, where you go, at what time you go. Now, because it's Memorial Weekend, it's, uh, it's a little different, but the reason I do this is because I want you guys to gain value in the city and move around, so you don't get just stuck in one place. Uh, this is a hotel that's been here a minute and uh, it's called The Gathering. And I know because I've actually done some work a long time ago here. Um, well, I think it was 6'4", 220 at that time, guys. I wasn't that, I wasn't as ripped and muscular as I am now. But yeah so you see what i was telling you guys the residential areas are here yeah. 
Now, if I wanted to, I can put my camera, and I'll probably do that. I will probably do that. I will probably, right now, get my camera, I'll put it in my backpack, and I will get on one of these city bikes, and uh, I will drive my city bike back. He's beating her, bro. He's beating her. I will drive my bike back to, uh, to my car. And I'll call it a day, guys. But here's a, here's a beautiful thing about all this. This walking tour has come full circle. And let me show you why. If you watch the other video that I'm going to link to the end of this video, you're going to see an area which you're going to recognize that we had in the dinghy, right? If you look deep in the skyline back there, that is the skyline of Miami. In the backdrop. See that? And what we did, we essentially came in the dinghy all through back there, wow, drove all the way through here, and then no, eventually no. came over here so and then the water tour continues through that little section that we walked earlier and uh, amazing that is the venetian causeway it goes all the way through until it connects to miami over here is the port of miami i just recently did a video of the cruise ships coming out and uh, that looks like it's a Wally plastic boat, which I am digging. Not as much as my little foldable inflatable, but that thing looks good. All right, guys, well, listen up. I want to thank you guys for watching my channel, Alfred Montaner. Um, I might as well, right? We might as well say hello. Guys, listen up. Thank you so much for watching this video. Awesome, awesome, awesome tour. Don't forget to watch my Visit Miami uh, playlist. If you like humor, check out the Chit Show. It's a boat ramp commentary channel. I have um, a lot of crazy things. Stay tuned. Smash a like on this video and share it. If you share it, it's going to sh show it to more people, right? And then check out my Visit Miami playlist. Alfred Montaner making a scene, guys. We're always making a scene. Wait for it. Wait for it. Boom.